Hey there, it's Walfus. Right here you're looking at what the final product will look like for this tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'll be focusing on parallax scrolling for infinite runners, but if you're looking for parallax scrolling for just a usual game, which goes any direction, I made another video, so check the description. All right, so now that that's covered, I'll just go over what parallax scrolling is. So if you don't already know, parallax scrolling is at a high level, a graphical illusion to make things seem like they're moving, which gives depth to the screen. So you might be wondering, well, well, Waffles, how can I even use this for my game? Why, why are you telling me this? Well, using parallax scrolling, you can make things like infinite runners where the player moves forward indefinitely. Famous examples being Flappy Bird and Subway Surfers. And we can do all this without the hassle of having a gigantic background. So the player won't have to borrow a supercomputer from NASA just to render the graphics. So now that we understand that, let's get right into the video. But first I'll explain how this method works. All textured 3D objects project 2D textures onto them using something called a UV map, which can be offset on the X or Y axis. Whenever the UV map goes past the texture's boundaries, a few things may happen. To keep it simple, we'll focus on what happens in Unity. So if the texture's wrap mode is set to repeat, then the image just repeats itself. And if the texture you're using is made correctly, then it creates an effect of moving infinitely if we keep offsetting the UVs, which creates a parallax effect I was telling you about. And the great thing about the method I'm about to show you is we're using one component to scroll multiple layers at different speeds so that it's no hassle to easily edit the move speed of the whole scene. So sounds pretty simple, right? Then let's get into the video. All right, so we have a new Unity scene here, so we can go on to step one, which is set up the scene. If you have a Pixar background like me, add a pixel perfect camera component to my main camera, just as I did. Then we're going to create a backgrounds folder so we can go on to step two, which is to import your textures. So just drag and drop them into this folder. And then you're going to want to select all your textures. And then in the inspector panel, if you have a pixel art background, change compression to none and filter mode to point no filter. But for all textures, wrap mode must be changed to repeat for this method to work. Then just go to the bottom and click apply. Then step three, create a new material and make sure that the shader for this material is set to unlit transparent, very important. Then just duplicate it, the amount of layers you have, and go on to step four, which is add your texture to the material as I'm doing right now. Then step five, you're gonna to wanna to create a new quad game object, which is a 3D object. And then step six, just scale it to your camera size and move them to the correct layers. Now, why we're creating a 3D object is because our method is offsetting UVs, which is unique to only 3D objects. Also be sure to parent your object to an empty object called backgrounds as I'm doing. Then step seven, drag the material onto the quad objects and just as I'm doing right now, and then go into 2D view and make sure it's all compiled correctly. Then just go into one of your quad objects in the inspector panel and go to backgrounds and go to the offset and just scroll the offset. And if it moves when you scroll the offset, then you know that you set up the scene correctly and we're gonna go on to step two, which is creating the script. See you there. All right, so let's get straight to it. So first you're gonna create a float additional scroll speed and this is a scroll speed that's added to all of the backgrounds scroll speed so we can easily speed up the scene. Then we're gonna create an array of game objects which will hold the backgrounds we just created, which were the quads. And this is so that we can update the scroll speed of all the backgrounds in this one component so we don't have to have multiple components which update the scroll speed of each individual background. Then we're gonna create an array of floats, which will be the scroll speed for each background to create a parallax effect that's even better so that backgrounds at the back can go slower than backgrounds at the front. And it corresponds to each individual background. Then we can just delete these because we want our background scrolling to update on a uniform time scale, no matter your frame rate. So we're gonna now just loop through each background, backgrounds.length, backgrounds plus plus. And I it replaced backgrounds with I because I prefer to have long variable names. All right, so remember this method works by offsetting the UVs of each individual backgrounds rendering, well, material. And UVs are only unique to 3D objects. So we cannot work with render 2D, this only works with render 3D and some form of 3D object. So once we get the renderer, we can go and calculate the float scroll speed. And scroll speed is a float, so just remember to make sure all your values are floats. So float offset is time multiplied by this object scroll speed plus normal scroll speed. 
But note this offset is not added to previous offsets. So multiplying by time is a dirty fix for that. But if you have a game where it's going to suddenly stop scrolling, I'd recommend having an array remembering the previous offset. Now we're going to go into the renderer material and do the method set texture offset, which offsets the UVs I was telling you about. And we're only going to do that on the X axis. And et voila, we have our script right there and ready. So I'll just show you the final product now. All right, so we're back in our Unity scene. So on the object that you want to scroll all the backgrounds, you're just going to want to add our background scrolling component and initialize it for all the layers of background you have, which are all the quad objects we created, and then easily drag and drop each background into the array of backgrounds. And you can see it's really nice because we can control all of the scrolling for each layer from this one simple and easy component. Then for scroll speed, scroll speed must be a decimal. It cannot be a normal, it cannot be an integer. So it can't be one, it can't be two, it can't be negative one, it can't be negative 56. It must be 0 0.02, it must be 0 0.01. It must be a decimal basically, if you want it to work. And then we're gonna click play and see if it works. And ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. and it works. So we can see the front goes faster than the back. And now I'm gonna change the scroll speed and you might notice that the whole image just moves. And this is because we don't store the scroll speed, we just get an arbitrary offset based on time.time, .time, which is a quick and easy fix. But if we wanted our whole image not to move whenever we change the scroll speed drastically, we have to make sure, have an array that remembers the previous scroll speed for each individual background. And I'll just leave that to you guys as some homework to do. And also you might notice that I'd set the speed to really slowly and it gives this framey behavior. If you're using this method, I do not recommend you having a very slow scroll speed because you will get a framey behavior basically. And yeah, that is basically our script. Additional scroll speed work, scroll speed works, and all the backgrounds work. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. And if you like the tutorial a lot, I'd really appreciate it if you could press that subscribe button. Or if you're not too much into that subscribe thing, just at least leave a like. Well, this is Office. See you later.